You remember last year how I made that video for Valentine's Day, best day of the year? I've been having several other requests for um, a continuation of sort. People want to know what's going on in Angela's Valentine's Day world. I'll tell you what's going on. That's it. It's really an appropriate show. This is all I've been doing for Valentine's Day. There is nothing wrong with being single. As a matter of fact, it makes you more independent, awesome, and more cool. So awesome that um, I took myself out for a date the other day to the student center. I've lost weight since last Valentine's Day. 27 pounds. You're like trying to cover me up. doesn't work the same with the wrapper on. <laughs> you know the drill? The questions are the same as last year. Are you single? Yes. Hi. No. Yes. No, I'm not single. No. No. Yes. I'm not, I'm not single. I am single. I'm no longer single. Okay. Shout out to my boo. Hey girl, I love you. No, I am happily married. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Well. I see you with a boy. Yeah. It yes. Quite single. Yes. I currently am. E no. Negatory. Yes. Oh, I hate you. What do you notice first about the opposite sex? That they are the opposite sex. Their, their eyes, I guess. Hair. I mean, if you got bad teeth, you got bad teeth, and there's no way around it. Pushing 500 pounds. I like them like that. If they have a really good personality, it's okay. The color of their teeth in relation to the color of their eyes. I, I still notice the big butt first. Someone that's respectful, someone that's fun to be around that makes me laugh. ACT score and genetic compatibility. I, I want someone who laughs a lot, so <laughs> it just like that sense of humor. You They're something. laughing. <laughs> Natural beauty. Well, like how everything works out. Her shoes. Arms and teeth. How tall they are. Eyes. Personality. I'm not gonna say that and it's not body. true. Eyes. Arms, when they're really muscly. Judge. Eyes. Eyes and teeth and arms. That's all of them. Her personality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. What are your plans for Valentine's Day this year? Hang out with my friends who also don't have boyfriends. Maybe watching a movie. To wish that the day would end. I go for mediocrity. I uh, have a hot date. So I think he's gonna buy me a gardenia bush. I'm babysitting. I'll go to church. I'm going home for my dad's birthday. Do you wanna go on a Valentine's Day date with me? We could. Oh, I second of Warcraft. Still very undecided. I'm just kidding. I'm not in the world. Do <laughs> no something idea. top Going to church? Secrets. Hang out with Angela. Church. Hang out with Angela. Just uh, describe to me uh, the experience of your first kiss. Kind of. Quick. Uh, no, I thought it was pretty good though. Like, what do you mean by describe? Like texture? Wow. It was a hayride at church. Well, I didn't Mary want him to kiss me and I thought it was gross. He said, leave me alone. And he got mad and he said, you're just like your mother. You think you're smarter than everybody else. <laughs> Instead of like tag, it was you would chase someone and they would kiss you. And he tried to kiss me, but I stuck a um, the kickball in between our faces. It's under a waterfall. It was actually in a movie theater. I was in eighth grade. It was probably like Die Hard or something. And you're like, do it you? That's awkward. I was looking at the stars with her. And you made the move. I made the move. Basically, kiss me in the back of the church van. It was everything a kiss should not be. With Elizabeth, who was the preacher's daughter. Sloppy and wet and disgusting. It's okay. They get bad. I thought it was going to be really awesome, but it kind of wasn't. It was kind of like kissing a fish. His, his lips were just like, like all over mine, and it was just <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, it was like cute and innocent, and kind of just like, Mwah. I had bronchitis. Bronchitis? Yeah, I had like a 101 fever. Seventh grade at my elder's house, actually. Oh. Pass. Awkward. I was on the couch. <laughs> it was in the Smoky Mountains, in a hot tub, underneath a beautiful full moon. You are so lying. <laughs> <laughs> if you could date any celebrity, who would you pick?
Who would it be? Chuck Bass. Uh, Channing Tatum. Patrick Dempsey. Kate Beckinsale. Kate mm-hmm. Beckinsale. There it is. <gasps> Any point in his life ever. Hugh like, Grant. Can be Beyonce Knowles or Anne Hathaway. Oh, and Hugh Jackman. Oh, oh my and goodness, yes. Robert Downey Jr. Jennifer yeah. Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. That's what yeah, I was going to say. Probably Chad Michael Muddy or Channing Tatum. Samwise Gamgee. James Franco. There we go. <laughs> well, then obviously, Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Matt Damon. Born Identity. Paula Dean. Her. Hands down. Put some lard on it. Paula Dean. <gasps> oh, Zach Efron! Adriana Lima. Zoe Deschanel. I know he's married. Michael Jordan. Johnny Depp. Nick Jonas! I will have his baby, so help me. I love him. Little diabetic singers running around. Gerard Butler. Like, if I'm gonna have a fling, it's gonna be Gerard Butler. But he, ha- he can't speak in his American accent. It has to be the Scottish accent. Oh, <laughs> 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 speak in American like now, I get it. I know who Angela would like to kiss. <laughs> no, Chuck no. Bass. I love you. I do. Describe your dream date. Find like the best restaurants, progressive dinner. Going back to Italy on a boat. <laughs> a big boat. <laughs> Take me out and we're gonna dress up and we're gonna go see a play. Like a picnic? It would have to involve Windy um, leaf things from from Pocahontas, like maybe swirling around us. Me and Rihanna on the beach, holding hands, hey riding horse back, naked. A little uh, steamboat cruise. Long walk on the beach, the sunset. Skydiving. If I could do anything in the world, it would be, oh, that's dirty. I'd like to take a tour of uh, the sites that Peter Jackson used in Lord of the Rings. Go to Hawaii. Probably actually going and eat, like real Chinese in China. Boys take me to Paris a lot, you know, that's just what we do. Yeah. All my boyfriends. All of a sudden be like, hey, I have this game in the attic, let's go play that. Let's Not that play. kind of game in the attic. We would go to the NBA All-Star game in Dallas. Anything, yeah, anything if we have fun. So, you know, just a little drive through McDonald's on a, on a bike or something like that. Like right on the handbars. Ride four wheelers at night. Oh, oh, with like an Anastasia where they have the rose. And where a rose, rose is, is a rose. rose. Sitting out in the in middle the of a wheat on field the, uh, underneath the, the stars, the listening to country music. Oh. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm serious. Yeah. You know, I want to do the same thing as what you said, but instead of country music, go sailing music, on how about a bit. Pearl. I shouldn't understand what's going on. <laughs> well, that does it for another awesome Valentine's Day. So whether you are uh, single, very single, or happily uh, with someone else, do it up this Valentine's Day and have a great time, and don't do anything illegal. All of you that are lonely out there on Valentine's Day, just like me, just give him a call. <laughs> and I have a CD of country music. <laughs> and if it's a starry night, we're going for it. You're getting lucky. Uh, good luck, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.